So, on to referencing. And referencing is uh, an area that is quite you know, structured, it's quite systematic, uh, but it's also an area in which people can make a lot of errors on uh, as well. Uh, as per the citing, um, uh, 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 as per the citing resource, use the guidelines and the cheat sheet provided where it's all outlined what should be done and how you should approach it. Um, remember, it's and these are just a few points before I go on to tips for this as well, which are uh, uh, tips uh, before I go on to tips. The these are some uh, points that I noticed as kind of recurring areas in the previously. Um, uh, sorry, in the in the in the initial non-compulsory uh, submission uh, that that uh, that some groups made, it's a reference section. It's not a bibliography. Bibliography is a list a list of books, and you've been asked to review peer-reviewed journal items, articles, and reviews, and that's it. So there should be no books in there anyway. It's a reference section. It's not a bibliography. You're never asked for books, so make sure you title that correctly. Um, don't have incomplete references. Um, you know, people can, as I say, when you're going through this, it's kind of, it's a very technical piece of writing. It might be the most interesting. So we've got a, uh, a few tips for, for how you can, you, you can overcome that. Um, don't put bullet points or numbers in the reference section. This is, has never been part of Harvard. Harvard, um, uh, has a particular style uh, that goes through and you've been shown what it is. You might find other resources out there. I know the disciplines have different variations of what it is. Don't look at other websites. Look at the resources that have been provided full stop. Okay, there's some provided on the Moodle page uh, for this module. They're the ones that you're using because they're the ones that business schools currently use. Okay, um, remember to ensure that all titles in the reference section are capitalized consistently. This means, you know, sometimes you'll get articles titled, say, you know, um, nursing, management, religion and spirituality, a bibliometric review. Sometimes the N will be the only one that's capitalized. Um, and sometimes all the letters will be capitalized. I don't really mind which one you do, as long as you do it for all of the titles. It has to be consistent. Again, that's in the cheat sheet. Uh, no URLs, you know, date access to whatever, because they're not web pages. These are articles in journals that have just been produced in an electronic format. No DOIs. DOIs are digital object identifiers, not required for Harvard. We have all the information that we need in the authors, the year of publication, the title of the article, the title of the journal, the volume number, the issue number, and the page numbers. That's all you need. It's all in the cheat sheet. Um, you'll get an E or no grades for a reference list that is not arranged alphabetically by author. This is the first big brown M and M. You remember that one from the uh, uh, from the first or from the second lecture in week one, and also from the how to cite and reference using the Harvard style resource that is on the Moodle page. Uh, and if it doesn't follow Harvard standards, sometimes people completely ignore them and include EndNote or develop their own systems. Um, there's a way of your, you know, your degree is in business. Um, so there's a business school, uh, internationally accepted format for doing this. Um, so if you kind of want to be a business graduate, part of the criteria for doing it across the world is that you demonstrate an understanding of the standards that's in your discipline. So it's Harvard. It may seem petty, but it's the way it's done. It's the way that you demonstrate to, um, to the discipline, to external examiners and internal graders that you have completed this work completely. So the tips, very much the same as the ones you've looked at already. Use the class discussion form. Any questions, doesn't matter how trivial it is or how you know how minor it is. If you have a question that's true that everybody else in the class probably has a similar concern, put it up there. It doesn't matter how, you know, um, it doesn't matter matter whether you can find it. If you if you can find it, we'll direct you whether to find it in the podcast or a part of the Moodle site. Uh, we are expecting people to go up to speed on the podcast, the class discussion forum and all the resources that are there. That's why they've been put there. So we'll direct you to them if you can't find them. Um, but, but do do your best to, to make sure that you've checked. Um, so if you're using the class discussion forum, you know, it's not just about posting questions, it's about reading questions. And uh, I think I've said already, and I've kind of pinned it to the top of the class discussion forum there. Use the subject line to make it as clear and as transparent as possible so other students can find your query and our responses to them and uh, great to see uh, other uh, class students beginning to use the form to answer questions that are there already so thank you to the students who are doing that please continue to do so don't trust your referencing software or your apps entirely I mentioned this in the previous recording if you're using microsoft word it says it'll do this for you if you're using endnote um, it's a great tool to help you and it speeds things up a lot but before i submit anything anywhere i always do a double check on it because um, 
it's not that there's anything wrong with the software, but uh, you need to ensure that it it, it 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 doesn't have the the intuition to make sure that you know to look for things like consistency between your references. So it, it's not AI. You need to double check what it is and fix any of the errors that it has put in there. Um, and as before, as for references and throughout the entire document, once you've got your final document as submission ready as possible, pass it around amongst each group member, and everybody has to find a new spelling error, not one that other people have found. Uh, you know, five new spelling errors, five new grammatical errors, five citation errors, five referencing errors, and you're not limited to the five. Find as many as you can. If you do, you'll be making putting pressure on your teammates to find new and additional ones, and this is what good group work is right across the board. So the resource Sources are there. The big issues are consistency, getting them right, and kind of honoring the Harvard system as it's been provided to you. It won't be good enough to say, oh, I went and I Googled it and I found it for another department or another university. You've been given these guidelines. Use them, and they've been designed to be as user-friendly as possible. Use the class discussion forum, people.